Hello there and welcome to another bonus video. Now this one's going to be a bit more of a waffle as there is something that LEGO have announced that is making me worry for one of the anniversary minifigures. If you saw my video earlier today, about six hours ago I think, I really don't know when these bonus videos will be going out. I spoke about the Creative Play Droid Builder which was recently announced from LEGO shipping August 1st including four droids there was a RJM5, I'll correct myself on screen, there was R2D2, Chopper, and QTKT. Now this is meant to be the representation of the droid we're getting in the anniversary, and everyone's either getting excited because it's a droid they remember from the Clone Wars and from the prequels, I think they even showed up in the sequels. It was built, I think, initially by the 501st Fan Legion, for a young person who had some medical struggles and the backstory is really nice. If you would like to know more, search R2KT and everything's up on Google. But this droid isn't R2KT. This droid is actually QTKT, which is the rumor we've got for the anniversary minifigure from Lego. I think it's like such a cutie, something like that. And QTKT was a droid created for Ayla Secura to fill a gap during the Delta Squad arc, which is amazing for droids. And this droid was created because R2KT couldn't be used. So you could say this is a droid that was meant to be R2KT initially, but then created sort of as an extension of the character. But it doesn't feel the same. This isn't the droid that was by that little girl's bedside looking after her the way that R2 looked after Padme. This is a droid that Lucasfilm created and assigned to Ayla Secura because she had no previous droids. She was a very popular, somewhat mainstream Jedi because of her appearance in Revenge of the Sith. Didn't have a droid, so assigned her this droid just so they could use this droid for the four episode arc and then not in any other piece of Star Wars material. So they're exclusively from this Delta arc and it's just not R2KT. I know a load of fans will still see a pink astromech and that's what they jump to. And I will be honest, QTKT is much easier to market than R2KT. R2KT is a pink R2D2. It was created off of R2D2's appearance in Attack of the Clones, which is personally one of my, if not my favorite Star Wars movie. So. If you are watching this and expect to make it through to the end of the video, once you have watched it, head to the comments and let me know your favorite Star Wars movie because I know LEGO is much more inclusive than Star Wars and I have fans of the sequels, prequels, original trilogy and some fans that have just come along from the recent show. So let me know what got you into Star Wars and what is your favorite piece of content, movie, show. Perhaps it's a book or another piece of material. Let me know down in the comments. But I just think Lego have really missed the mark with R2KT, or in this case, QTKT. It's not R2KT and they are gonna try and promote it as if it was. There is possibly a chance that they couldn't have used R2KT. I'm not sure if the droid belongs to some sort of foundation created at the same time as the droid or perhaps there were some other complications and Star Wars just didn't want that happening. But it wouldn't be the first time that a fan made character would have been acknowledged by Lego. After all, we're waiting on images of the Jedi Bob Starfighter and hopefully by this point they may have even already come out. Jedi Bob was an unnamed clone that was just used to fill a gunship set back in 2002 and named by the community Jedi Bob. Now there are various different sources that say where that name actually came from but Lego officially named him Jedi Bob in the character encyclopedia in 2009. So they definitely could have given us an R2KT figure and I really, really am hoping that the actual minifigure resembles R2KT and not QTKT because it just means more to the Star Wars community and I understand there are a few of you who have no connection to this droid and perhaps that's just because you're either too old, too young and completely missed that era of Star Wars whereas I grew up seeing this droid in the Clone Wars and I vaguely knew the backstory behind why the droid was created in the first place. So I think this would be an amazing droid to do for 25 years 
of Lego Star Wars. And if they're bringing back Jedi Bob, I would also have liked to see perhaps a few more fan characters like Darth Jar Jar represented as the anniversary minifigures. I've already said the anniversary minifigures could have shown up in Rebuild the Galaxy anyway. So it's great we're getting them in sets, but if the show wasn't about to release, I think that's September now, which is only two, three months away. If we didn't have that show, I think they would have also made some great anniversary minifigures. Darth Jar Jar, Jedi Bob, R2KT, and I'm sure there's loads more you could name. But I really hope that LEGO do give us the R2KT minifigure. That is basically all this video is about. Seeing QTKT in this set has made me a bit nervous, but there is still hope because we don't actually get minifigures in this set. That was what I thought initially we'd get an R2, a QTKT, a chopper minifigure in this set, similar to the £90 R2D2 or the £150 R2-D2. The prices of them, that's another matter because this set is also £90 and I've spoke about the Young layer in the video that I will be posting July 1st. So dependent when this video comes out, I'll either have it linked on the end screen or you'll be able to go over to my channel and check it out later on. But let me know what you think. Do you think we will be getting QTKT as the anniversary minifigure and it's a bit of a mix up from Lego. Do you think that they've chosen QT over R2KT because it does look a bit more pink? It's better than just getting another R2 torso. I think we've already got it in red. And I want to say there's another color we've got it in as well as the light blue from the old R2, the dark blue from the new R2. And perhaps Lego are tired of recoloring R2 for a set. Or do you think that we are getting R2KT and they've just given us QTKT in this droid builder set because it is a more playful droid in the sense that the design differs from R2. It's easy to tell them apart. There's a lot more pink on this droid. And overall, it does look a bit better as a toy than R2KT was. It's really the meaning behind the minifigure that fans are going to want to pick up this set. And I think R2KT is rumored for a celebration exclusive or a Comic-Con exclusive, some sort of convention exclusive set, possibly even a D2C direct to consumer, which means that Lego are only selling this online and in their own store, similar to last year's Christmas diorama, which only run officially for three months before it retired. So it could be something like that. Perhaps there's even a set created to raise money for a certain Star Wars foundation, which I would love to see because we're getting sets on Rebuild the Galaxy already. And I assume they're gonna stay for a few years because they're based on a show rather than a Christmas or Halloween special. And Lego Star Wars in all 25 years, I've not known them to do a set and give the profits to charity. This would be amazing from Lego and would also get a load more eyes on the new Lego sets because it seems we've got more Lego sets now than any other year of Lego Star Wars. And the last few years have definitely gotten a load of sets too. So I wouldn't be surprised if recently we've had a year with a few more sets, but it feels like Lego are pumping out Star Wars sets and they are all quite high quality as well. It's not like they've reduced the quality to get more out. They are pumping out loads of really cool sets. So I look forward to seeing what the minifigure is. Let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget to comment your favorite piece of Star Wars media. That is all for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like before you do leave and make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.